Andrew Tate isn't the most liked person on the internet, and even though the Super Bowl was more than a week ago now, apparently there's some new stuff coming out. Apparently some people watch some footage back, Andrew Tate especially, watch some footage back, and he has something to say about something that happened out there. Guys, I clicked on this video, and I'm doing this video just because I was curious myself, so maybe we can look over it together, maybe talk a little bit about it and see what's going on. And of course, Benny's gonna break it down with us, so let's find out what's going on in this video. Right. Let's see, I don't know. Let me think. Let me knock on Mr. Nog. <laughs> Who could trick us into doing that? Could have been uh, Satan. <laughs> What's up, guys? Boy Benny. I am an old. I am 37. I listen to rock and country music from the 90s, and I listen to a little bit of hip hop from the 80s. And that's about it. So when I heard the term Ice Spice in a recent headline, I thought it was uh. a new Old Spice scent. Legitimately, I had no idea that this was an ice spice. This is icespice.com. And um, according to Ice website. Spice's I website, a website. Um, I guess it's just a store, a Christmas stocking or something. A, a, a thing with the Barbie world. Nicki Minaj. Oh, Nicki Minaj. Okay, got it. Okay. Well, he knows who that You're is. You're a music, musical artist. You're a, a, you're a magician, magician, Sings. you're Sing a musician, rapper. magician. Oh, 10 million followers. Okay. Uh, well, oh my. All right. Well, now I suddenly understand. Oh, okay. Got it. Like gratuitous nudity uh, and degeneracy. Got uh. it. Okay. Now I see. Now I know. That's what an ice spice is. Ice spice. Uh, Isis Gaston. <laughs> And Dang, known professionally as Ice Spice is an American rapper. Got it. Okay. I didn't know that was her name. So, Isis Gaston, otherwise known as Icy Spice, was at the Super Bowl and was inside of Taylor Swift's uh, little booth there at the Super yes. Bowl. Yes. And was uh, criticized for wearing uh, demonic or satanic material. And for engaging in demonic and satanic uh, symbolism, like the like the symbols of Satan, as you can see there, she keeps doing demonic hand hands. gestures on the big screen, upside down cross, Balenciaga sleeve, not even trying to hide it. So, what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? Um, what is Ice Spice doing with her hands as Taylor Swift chugs a beer? You can see here quite clearly in this video that Ice Spice is noticing that they are on TV and on the big screen. And she, with her upside down cross, which is one of those symbols of Satanism, uh, does another symbol of Satanism for all to see. What does Snopes have to say about this? Ice Spice worn upside down. You know, the interesting part about these kind of things is when people say that they happened and they did it, everyone always tries to, oh, well, the upside down cross is not the, I, look, man, look, man, they know what they're doing. She knows what she's doing. But the question is, why is she doing it? Doesn't it look kind of odd that you, the people that you're in the, the box with are chugging beer and you're over here doing all these funky hand signs and holding up your, your car? Why are you doing that? What is the what is the point? I think at this point, if if that is what they really are promoting, they just don't care. They don't even care anymore. She's like, oh, we're on the screen? That like, gang, 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 let's get into it. Why? I see that that's the part I just don't understand. I think that's the part that's always mind boggling to me. I just don't get, I, I don't, I don't understand. Maybe because I mean, I'm not part of the club. I'm not cool enough. I, I don't know. Somebody help me understand. I'm Satanic Cross at the Super Bowl. A uh, mixture. Context, the pendant designed by New York jeweler Alex Moss does appear to be in the shape of an inverted upside down cross. But there's nothing inherently demonic or satanic about it. In the Catholic tradition, the inverted cross represents martyrdom of St. Peter. That there it is, the Catholic tradition. Is Ice Spice Catholic? The answer is no. I'm gonna just answer that for you. The answer is no. Let's keep going. But also, this is just a matter of fact, an inverted cross also, well, represents Satanism. It has done that as well. So who really knows? Maybe Ice Spice doesn't even know. All these people just have handlers anyway. They're not like actually real people. They get told what to do day at night night and day 
Andrew Tate believes that this was all part of satanic gesturing in public in order to, well, gesture no. for Satanism in public. <laughs> On a very serious note, you have somebody wearing an upside down cross making devil symbols at the biggest cultural event in American history. Andrew Tate saying yeah. that he thinks that this is obviously gesturing towards Satanism. Let's have a listen. On a very serious, serious note, you have someone wearing an upside down cross making devil symbols at the biggest cultural event in American history. Yeah. Everything I said about how you can see demons if you pay attention. Did you look at her and think that's a demon? Maybe you didn't. But after listening to this, please pay attention. She is wearing an upside down cross. The Matrix has made her famous. Nobody knows why. It's certainly not because of f***ing talent. I think she's and wearing she's, Balenciaga too. And she's wearing Balenciaga, which we know. Child molesters. Which are child molesters. Molestiaga. Yeah. And she's making devil symbols. What more, what kind of clue are you looking for if those aren't the clues you need? Let what, me... what do you want? So, I'll simply say this. That if you don't believe that there is satanic activity in Hollywood and in American entertainment culture, you're just simply not paying attention. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't pretend to know who Ice Spice is. I don't know who these people are. But, like, these people are typically managed and like told what to do. They're not real human beings. They have these mass, the, the reason they become big and famous is they have these massive armies of people telling them what to do and managing and controlling them. Do you really think that Ice Spice has any idea? Do you think she has any idea what's going on? She doesn't know, okay? She just doesn't know. And nor does she care, okay? The whole point of this is to actually take the oh, artists and to pivot off of their fame and to use them for messaging. And that is something that we've recently covered actually on this program. Listening to this absolutely shocking podcast clip from one of the more famous Hollywood actors and hip hop artists uh, in the industry talking about the open demonic Satanism inside of Hollywood. As much as I'm supposed to be promoting this movie and talking about my album, I just feel like we're in competition right now because they are trying to normalize the devil. They are trying to populate. The devil is, is on the main stage at award shows and in every video and yeah, man. signs and symbols. And I said, you know what? We need to stop treating our relationship with Jesus like the little buddy that you talk to before you go to bed at night and not be more vocal about all the things that God means to us and all of the things that God has brought us through. Because there's been a lot of moments that you didn't post about. Mm -hmm. right. But yet you know, how did God decide to get yeah. me through this? Yeah, man. And yeah, they going above and beyond to po promote the devil. And it's pissing me off. Mm -hmm. Because they, they, they used to devil worshippers used to be real secretive, oh, like yeah. going down in the basement, this yeah, secret man. world. Now they just now like, they on the ah. device too. Yeah, they, that. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, here's all I know. Look, if somebody like Tyrese is saying it, you know it's got to be a fact. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But for real though, I mean, if if people are really speaking out, saying that this is what's going on, and the fact that it's in your face. It's in your face, okay? Andrew Tate said it there. He was like, if you're really looking for a reason, if you're really looking for a sign to say that it's happening, I don't know. I mean, she couldn't have said it any more plain. Why is she doing this? Why is she doing that with her hands? She's doing it because she knows that they're on the big screen. They know that everybody is looking for Taylor Swift at that game. And Taylor Swift is right there with her. Now, do I think that... Taylor Swift was doing that. Taylor Swift wasn't doing that same thing that she was doing. But why is is I, I Spice? Okay, I know who I Spice is, but I know that she's a rapper, as we've discovered. But I don't know any of her music. Is she on the same level as Taylor Swift? Is she as famous? Is she does she have as many songs and records as Taylor Swift? Is, or, or are they just friends? Like, why was she even in the box? You know. So you know that's. That's a whole thing in itself, but uh, let's keep going through the video. Let's see a little bit more of what Benny has to say, and then we're going to finish up here, and then we'll talk a little bit more, guys. Is that we live inside of a world that is a physical world, but there are spiritual energies everywhere. Mm -hmm. We are living in a uh, time of heightened spiritual energy, and that, that heightened spiritual energy means that you have to be on your guard. You should get on your knees and pray. You should read your Bible. You should go to church. You should pray with your significant other. That is actually the number one way to protect your marriage and protect your relationship. 
and you should try and rid your life of temptation and evil because there's a lot of it out there and you don't want to be counted amongst these people these people are truly evil uh, and we should endeavor as a movement um, to be the good men and women and not the evil ones God says he'll save the whole satanic lot I mean what I mean by that is Sodom and Gomorrah which is we, are we living in modern day Sodom and Gomorrah yes yes we are um, he'll say he says he'll save the whole country the whole town of Sodom and Gomorrah if you could find me one good man mm. find me one you should endeavor to be that one good man that one good woman okay and that's all that's all you'll actually be judged for you'll be judged everyone will be judged you'll be judged for what you do and how you live your life so live it honorably Just be upright ladies and gentlemen you know we're not gonna we're not going to pretend like we didn't see what we saw there at the Super Bowl, but I got to know your thoughts. And now knowing that and seeing something like that, what do you think? What is your take on 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 it in other ways, on ways that maybe it's not so obvious, you know, maybe ways that you might look at a celebrity's Instagram. Let's take Drake, for example, and maybe he's doing a pose and he's going like this. And, you know, he's got every third picture is like this, doing something with his eye or doing something with his hands. I, these things aren't normal and we're not gonna pretend like they're normal. I take pictures too, I take group pictures. Never once have I ever did this covering either one, like one of my eyes or throwing up a weird hand sign. I mean, we're not gonna pretend like every single rapper is in some kind of gang or, or, or you know what I mean? There's, there's no reason to throw up these hand signs. She had no reason to be doing that on the Super Bowl in the world's biggest stage where she could be seen. She had the cross on, she had the hand signs, she had Balenciaga on her arm and on her pants. I saw in another picture. It's there for you. Spiritual warfare is real, guys. And as Benning said there, we gotta we gotta protect ourselves. And if you're on the if you wanna be on the right side of not history, but right side of what goes on after it's lights out. And you gotta pay attention to these things. I pride myself in trying to make each one of these videos very neutral. I don't want to be leaning either way just because I just don't like anything that, that that's, that's divisive. Sorry, I can't talk. But anything that is divisive, I don't wanna be the controversial YouTuber guy that says all one thing, you know what I mean? I just want to react to these videos, talk about them a little bit and get a conversation going. That's where I'd stand to be in the middle and just get the conversation going and just see what other people think so we can discuss. Hey, here's my idea, here's what I'm feeling, what are you feeling, you know? This is a safe space. Guys, let me know what you're thinking about this one. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, put your comments in the box. I'll see you in the next one.